What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here. Today we're gonna to be talking about practical applications for constant tension training. But before we start, listen, if you gain value from this uh, channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, it's the best way that you can give back and support this channel. So last time we talked about constant tension, we talked about how Serge Nubre was a huge component of it, how it allowed him to use lighter weights but make uh, huge gains in muscle growth. In fact, he had some of the best pecs and upper body of all time. We talked about a study in which they showed that training at 50% of your 1RM uh, resulted in just as much muscle growth as 80% of your 1RM when you use constant tension. Today, I'm gonna talk about practical application, okay? And I'm gonna do that in uh, at least a couple different ways. One, I'm gonna talk about what weight What's the optimal weight for constant tension? Two, we're gonna talk about how your cadence should be, meaning should you pause, should you not pause, your eccentric and concentric cadence. Three, we're gonna talk about range of motion. So those are gonna be the main uh, topics of the day. Uh, so first, let's talk about load. One of the reasons why we think constant tension works is because it causes a blood flow restriction in the muscle. What happens is you have arteries kind of running uh, um, or blood vessels running between the muscles. So let's say that you have your biceps and triceps, you have uh, blood vessels running between them. When you lift at 10% of your 1RM, you don't really occlude uh, or restrict blood flow to those uh, blood vessels. When you get up to around anywhere from 50 to 60% of your 1RM, you can cause blood flow restriction to those blood vessels. We know blood flow restriction of blood vessels actually causes a buildup of lactic acid metabolites. And after you're done training, it causes a flush of blood to come to the cells. That happens around 50, 60%. Going heavier than that doesn't cause more restriction of the blood vessels. So when we're doing lighter weight, you wanna make sure you get to a point where you can kind of restrict those blood vessels similar to blood flow restriction training. So 50 to 60% of your 1RM. So if you can bench press 200 pounds, then you should use constant tension training at around 100 pounds. So next, let's talk about cadence. So there's a study that was done where they looked at the concentric cadence, okay? And they, they use lighter weights and they compare it to 80% of your 1RM. And what they did was they slowed the concentric phase of the lift to keep constant tension. And what they found was, even though they made gains using constant tension, their gains were like a third or half of the gains they made at 80% of their 1RM. Now that kind of contradicts the study we talked about last time, but the reason why is because using, slowing the concentric phase of the lift seems to result in um, less muscle growth. So we don't recommend slowing the concentric phase of the lift. But in the next study I'm gonna talk about, they looked at bicep growth. And what they did was they had a faster concentric, meaning they lifted at normal speed, but they slowed the eccentric for about three to four seconds. And in that study, they found an increased muscle growth of the biceps. So what this says is that we should have a three to four second lowering, don't pause on the bottom, and then lift fairly fast, maybe like one to two seconds. So that's how your cadence should be. Um, next, let's talk about range of motion. Guys, always select a range of motion, basically, where you don't fully extend you know, or stop. Like for example, let's say that I'm doing preacher curls. If I come all the way down and stop, I'm releasing the tension. You come all the way down right where the tension's maximized. Don't, don't do this, but come all the way down to the tension's maximized and come up. Squeeze for a second and come down. Okay, same thing on leg press, same thing on squats. Don't allow yourself, to, you know, go about 95% of the full range of motion. So let's summarize, uh, summarize this up. Use 50 to 60% of your 1RM. Use a range of motion that's about 95%, as much range of motion as you can where you're sustaining the tension. Next, on the concentric, come up one to two seconds and then lower three to four seconds on the way down. Don't pause at all. Uh, guys, make sure you implement this training as much as you can. 
Uh, again, I think it's going to be a massive way to get growth. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.